Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome to the very first unboxing for this channel. We're going to be unboxing the Corsair K65 RGB mechanical gaming keyboard. Uh, this is a little butte, uh, if I could say myself. I've been wanting it ever since I've seen it come out. It came out a couple of months ago and it's just a really, really gorgeous, very nice uh, gaming keyboard. Now, uh, first off, like I said, this is just an unboxing, so this ain't the full review. I will come out with the full review uh, here very shortly probably within like the next week or less and I'll give you guys you know the rundown of the whole keyboard and the software that goes into uh, controlling all of the different LEDs and how customizable and all that but like I said this is just an unboxing so quickly we're just gonna look at the back of the box we're gonna go over you know some of the cool features of this keyboard uh, so you guys know what it's all about like I said it does come with MX Cherry Red switches in the keys uh, so it has very nice uh, mechanical keys Obviously, you can program any of the LEDs to do whatever you want them to do. Um, this is 100% anti-ghosting with full key rollover. Uh, also, it does have a detachable soft touch wrist pad that you can you know, opt out on or if you want it or not, which I do have the K70, but it's only red, it's not RGB. And I'm really happy with the K70, it's just I have no need for the number pad on the side, so it's a little bit bigger than what I want, that's why I went for this. And plus, I think that the uh, RGB of this uh, uh, keyboard just looks really really cool being able to pick any color for anything you want like it says right here 16.8 million key uh, million color per key backlighting so uh, tons of customization that goes into the keyboard and that's really all I'm gonna cover here on the box I am just too excited to get this open so let's go ahead and let's dig into this and I don't know why I have this giant commando knife I don't know where I put my actual unboxing knife but for those of you that are interested in this knife, I suppose I'll link it down in the description. It is from Amazon, and it's really uh, quite in inexpensive. So let's go ahead and let's just slice into the side here. That's all we needed the knife for. Quick little cut. Let's go ahead and pop this side open. And I'm assuming I'm probably gonna need to flip this over before I slide it out. And it's in there tight. Let's go ahead and bend this flaps out. So there we go. Pretty simple packaging, we can get rid of that. Now I went for the Corsair and not the Razer just because, uh, like I said, I already have a Corsair gaming keyboard and I really like the build quality of this keyboard in comparison against Razer. Razer is kind of a cheaper plastic. This is actually like a brushed aluminum, so it's extremely nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's just pull this bad boy out. So this does have a pretty thick USB uh, cable. It's actually double USB, just like the uh, the other keyboard that I do have, the K70 in red. Uh, so we'll get to the keyboard in a second. In the box, we still have a little bit of paperwork. Unfortunately, no stickers, which kind of sucks. That's all right though. And then here is the wrist pad. And I actually do use the wrist pad. I really, really like it. It's a very nice feature to have because uh, Corsair makes a great wrist pad. It's like, I don't know what kind of material this is, but it's it's just really grippy. It doesn't get fingerprints all over it. It feels extremely nice with your wrist sitting on it. Uh, so that's another thing I really like about Corsair. So now let's take a look at the actual keyboard. Now, of course, uh, this is just an unboxing, but I will plug this in so you guys can get a good look at the uh, LEDs when they lit up. Hopefully it's pre-programmed to do something so that you guys can see what it looks like. If I can get this... I'm going to tape off the back. There we go. I'm just going to shred this apart, make it easier on ourselves. So here's the keyboard. Like I said, the back of this is actually metal, so it is uh, like a brushed aluminum, and it looks extremely nice. We can go ahead and take this little sticker off as well, as we get a little tiny mark on there. Uh, so this is seriously a gorgeous, gorgeous keyboard, and uh, I'll try and let you guys listen in on the keys. So you can hear the keys, they are fully mechanical. Uh, this is just a very beautiful keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plug this in, light it up so you guys can see what it looks like uh, when you know it's fully illuminated with the LEDs. So there you go guys, there it is plugged in. Unfortunately, it's not programmed to do anything cool right out of the box. It's just a simple uh, WASD and then uh, directional, uh, directional keys right there. So those are lit up white. And then the rest of the keypad is actually red. 
uh, so it's not programmed to do anything fancy. Like I said, this isn't the full review, so I'm not going to go through too many details of the keyboard, but you do have a little light switch which allows you to shut off the LEDs. Uh, that's its lowest setting, medium, and then high is just like my, like the other keyboard that I do have by Corsair. Um, so pretty straightforward, guys. That's going to be pretty much it for this video. Like I said, I will have the full review out in less than a week, so stay tuned in for that where I'm actually going to go through and show you all the different cool stuff you can do. Uh, with the LEDs and the way that the program works and everything about this keyboard and what I think of it So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing if you did definitely throw me a thumbs up That really helps me out a lot here at the channel Also, if you guys want to see more unboxings like this don't forget to click that subscribe button This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one later